Indeed, this is the first big buffalo herd that I've seen since I've been back or in this sort of area So it's really 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 good to see them and when we start to see these big herds of buffalo arriving in this area It's only means good things that we also know that it's starting to be winter then as they start to get sort of mass up and come into areas where there's water we start to get these kind of beautiful visuals of these big herds stretching across these open areas now unfortunately the buffalo are all going off the really nice open section but they are heading towards buff dam so i think we're going to go probably follow them around and see if we can't get them now i just want to go around this little bush because you can see quite a few of them that are in the thickets there so it's quite a number of buffalo here now i was just watching this buffalo bull in front of me he's absolutely mesmerized by the movement of the quellias so there's some birds in the distance that are flocking and flying and they make quite a bit of noise when they fly so there's a lot of sort of wing beats and now they've all landed unfortunately but he was mesmerized by them he was kind of watching and looking and checking what was going on i think they've all flown off senzo into the bushes there that's okay we'll sure see them again just now It's also this time of the year where you often see these large gatherings of quellias. Hello. I would lie, it's not a buffalo bull, it's a big cow. So I just saw the back of her and she was looked a little bit bulky, but definitely is a cow. And she looks like she could be pregnant as well. Look at how that belly is starting to hang a little bit. So it's quite swollen and big. But imagine that's a young calf is still inside there. It's not close to being born yet but it is still getting bigger and swollen so that is definitely a pregnant cow now i want to try and get around so we can actually get a view of this herd and try and see the sort of front end of the herd but this is always spectacular to see when we start to see these big herds of buffalo often the lions follow them so it's a good thing to check So Dirk, no, male buffalo are not the only ones that have horns. As we saw there with that female crossing in front of us, she's got quite well-developed horns. It's just the males tend to have bigger, thicker, sort of larger horn structure than what the female does. And that's because the males use them a lot more. But a female will still use her horns to protect herself. So if something like lions comes after them, they're going to use that to try and defend themselves and try and sort of gore and hook at the lions so they do definitely use their horns um, but the males just tend to be a lot bigger now as soon as I get to the front of this herd I will show you the difference between male and female hopefully because we should have both of them in a group like this now, they seem like they're on quite a quick mission to get towards this water buffalo do love water they're probably one of the most water dependent species we have out here so they definitely like a good drink and that's why they're heading there now look at them oh got a bit of mating in the background there that's that noise that you heard so all of these that we see in front of us here these are all the females so you see they've got horns but on top of their heads is very sort of hairy and no real development of the horn there's no thick sort of pattern on top whereas the bulls have a much larger almost helmet like structure that goes over the top so we've got a bull just on our front here that's busy scratching himself I don't know if you can see him Senzo so just over there now he's just put his head away but you can see on top of his head there he's got a very thick sort of horn structure now unfortunately he's gone the wrong way for me to show you but hopefully another bull will come out and I'll be able to show you what that looks like but they are much more developed and much stronger and the reason why is when the bulls hit each their heads together when they're competing for mating there's enough force there that could cause damage to the skull and so that thickest boss like structure just helps to protect the skull and to make sure that they don't hurt themselves but look how curious they are they're all sitting staring at us they know in this area they're quite vulnerable because the grass here is very very long so if there are lions around it's going to be tough to see them and that's why they're putting their noses up into the air they're just sniffing and smelling and making sure that we're not with a lion somewhere here and that we're not a potential threat and that's why we're getting so much of a dirty look now you can see that female's got a blind right eye you can see it's very milky and as i say that she turns and goes away
So Skip, who's 12 years old. Skip, I hope you are enjoying this and that you are loving being a part of the African wilderness. You're wondering if the females are as dangerous as the males. Well, no, not really. Um, the females can be aggressive if you go near their calves. So if they have a little calf and you try and go near it, then they can be very aggressive and they'll try and go after you. But if it's just in a herd structure like this, generally you can actually walk quite close to a female and she actually won't worry too much about you. They tend to be a little bit more sort of reserved and shyer than what the males do. But like I say, if you get between her and her calf, then they can be very, very aggressive. I've seen with lions when they get bull down one of the calves, the female will come in and try and chase those lions and sometimes even to the point where they'll be killed themselves. So they are very aggressive when it comes to their offspring, but otherwise they're a lot more placid than what the big males are. Now we're going to try to keep up with them. They're still moving and going towards the water. Uh, so Michael, the buffalo do not have a set breeding season. They're one of these animals that will breed at any stage of the year. So we see them mating all around the year and giving birth, but generally their birthing intervals sort of coincide mostly with the summer months so that's when they really are hoping to give birth is around the summer months because obviously there's a lot more food around but they do also give birth in the winter I have seen little calves being born in June July August and those areas so it does happen from time to time now I just have to pay attention when going through here because it's very very thick now, while we go towards Buffalo Pan, which will be very aptly named this morning because all the buffalo will be there, I believe James is at another dam and maybe got something else to show you.